Welcome to module seven of the service blueprint, service recovery. What to do when you score one on a scale of one to 10. Service excellence, customer service is not about being perfect. It's not about being perfect. It's not about perfectionism. It's just about being, taking care of the customer. No matter what you do, we are not perfect. Human beings are not perfect. And we don't even expect you, nobody expects you to be perfect. We just expect you that inevitably you'll make mistakes. The customer complains. So when you fail, what do you do? That's what service recovery is all about. So service recovery is just about taking steps to assault the customer, to make sure the customer is restored to a better place after you have made mistake. So when you score one on a scale of one to 10, you, know, you say it's, you, have, you have failed, what are you going to do? Customers are going to complain and so on and so forth. So what are you going to do? So what the, this is just the essence, the whole essence of this uh, module, the, the whole essence of this module. So let us see what customer complaints as a competitive weapon. Yes, customer, in fact, only customers that love you, only customers that care for you, only customers that like you will complain. Others will just walk away. So customer complaints is a competitive weapon. Use it. Find ways. In fact, encourage customers to complain. It's a competitive weapon. If customers don't complain, it means it just means that you are perfect or there's nothing wrong, but that is not the case. Customers that do not complain, go outside and complain to 10, 20, 30, 40 other people. And today in a globalized world, today where we have the internet, Facebook, social media, they will go there and complain on social media how bad your service is. So it's a competitive weapon. Encourage them to complain and they will complain. And if they do that, you are in a better place. You you have uh, the the information, the intelligence to now decide what to do to make sure that the mistakes do not uh, recall, the mistakes do not happen again. And if they happen, what you are put in a better position to know what to do, how to recover. Okay, so keep your com uh, your complaints pipeline wide open. Keep your complaints. Do everything necessary. Ensure give customers a uh, tough free lines to call. Give them a um, 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 yes, tough free lines. Email addresses. The important people in your organization. Yeah, even your managing director. You as a, a customer service director. Their general managers give them access to those people. Most organizations uh, do not give customers access to their key people. Mm, this is not the, the right thing to do. So keep your complaints pipeline wide, wide open. Always encourage customers to complain. And at, at the end of every service opportunity, always ask the customer. Is there any other thing we can do? And so on. So after every uh, interaction, always ask back, always call and say, is there anything that we, we, we did wrong? Is there anything that we can improve? They will tell you when they know that you are, you are genuine in asking them. This is very, very critical. So keep your complaints pipeline wide open. And ways to reward complainers and turn them into evangelists your annual most stupid follow-up festival. Yes, you have to think outside the box as everybody says, think outside the box, things outside the box. What can you do? Sometimes things just happen that it, it, it boggles the imagination that this type of thing can happen. That's what we talk about um, the most uh, stupid follow-up festival. Do this, make it fun. Invite customers to, to this day. Today, we are having our annual most stupid follow-up festival and call customers from all angles from every part of the of the, the geographic area and ask them to come and then let them tell you what happened and even bring the staff that uh, were in direct uh, direct uh, um how do i put it p 
people that were directly involved in such cases to also say what happened and make it fun. The whole essence is not to is not to punish anybody. It's to what lessons can we learn from this that happened? What lessons can we learn? The whole essence is to lessons to the whole essence is to learn lessons and ensure these uh, foul ups do not recall all right what to do when employees that file up the most what to do with employees that file up the most yes these are the employees that follow what do you do to them well the important thing is the most important thing is to train them to train them and retrain them once again there's a apocryphal story of the motorola staff that uh, really messed up and uh, it was invited to the chairman's office you know i mean if you are invited to chairman's office and you are uh, somebody lower down the, the the ladder there it's uh it uh, <laughs> it's not a palatable uh, event so this guy i mean well long story short he got to the chairman's office and before the chairman could even say anything started um, said yes i know you are going to sack me yes are you are you are going to sack me yes well the chairman was a uh, magnanimous and um, he tell the guy well you have made us ten thousand dollars wiser ten thousand dollars wiser and thank you very much for what you have done and what did we do he promoted the guy he promoted the guy because all others uh denied so he stood uh, he stood um he put his neck on the line and he, he he claimed that yes he was the one that fouled up and the customer i mean the chairman really uh, applauded his uh, courage and uh, 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 promoted him the whole essence he was sending a message that doing things wrong is not a crime because i mean when we say that uh, uh, when we talk about the cover your ass syndrome people do not want to make mistakes and when you do not want to make mistakes what do you do well you don't take action and if you do not take action what happens nothing happens in the organization there's no progress the only time there's progress when people take action and people will definitely make mistakes and the process of making mistakes that's when innovations come up yes nine out of ten times you'll be making mistakes but just one uh, success and you you got it right so you can see people i mean so that is what to do with employees that follow is to encourage them more is to educate them more is to train them more all right, fishing out foul ups before they happen. Fishing out foul ups before they happen. How do you fish these things out? Well, the best way to fish them out is to prepare for them. To prepare for them, you have to train your staff. You have to take upfront action as what the kai, uh, Japanese call kaizen. Yes, upward. I mean, an uh, upfront action, continuous improvement. You must keep records of near misses what could have happened what did not happen and so on so those near misses are the things that you will use to track things in the future so fishing out them make sure that meticulous records are kept of near misses and let people not try to hide whenever any complaints comes make sure you say thorough record of the complaints that customers give and by so doing you'll be accumulating a lot of information and preventing future occurrences so that is just a very brief on how to um, uh, and, uh, ha handle complaints thank you very very much for listening and until we see in module eight bye for now